New York State wants you to know about credit and loans. I give them a lot of credit for that. Dad joke. It's an important topic. Everybody starts out by paying rent, but you're not going to want to do that forever. So let's take a look at real estate in Hempstead. I realize you might want to branch out, go elsewhere in the world, but you know what? Let's start with Hempstead. Buying. Oh, snap. Three bedroom. Uh, we're starting to push 700000 here. And there's various options, but it's going to take getting into a little bit of debt. Everybody does this. Getting into a little bit of debt to get your first house. Slow your roll, Mr. K. We're going to get a car before we get a house. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's look at cars. All right, so we're going used. We're not even going new here. And look at this. 21,000, 20,000, 22. And these are for Jeep switchers. Jeep rhymes with cheap. In order to get any of this, in order to get access to a loan to get any of this, you need to have a good credit score. In this unit, we're going to be discussing credit scores and such. But today, I want you to understand the various types of loans. Installment credit is the type of credit that you would need access to to get a car or to get a house later down the road. Just remember this about installment credit. You borrow 20000 you're not going to pay back 20000 And this is where the compound interest calculator can come in handy. Let's say that you were eyeing one of those Jeeps and you're like, yeah, I want this. I need this. Okay, so you're borrowing $20,000 and length of time in years, five years, 3% interest rate. Let's calculate that you are actually going to be paying back replace you will have with I will be paying back $23,185.48. Remember, none of this happens without a credit score, and actually bad credit will increase the amount that you have to pay. <music> Once installment credit is paid off, it is done. One last note about installment credit. Now, I, I thought I was a wise guy once, and I borrowed for a car. And I thought, hmm, okay, if I do extra payments, that I wouldn't get charged as much interest. It doesn't work like that. They work it out at the beginning, and that amount that was there, in this case, the $23,000 and change, that's what it's going to be. That's what you have to pay back. So the speed at which you pay this one back does not matter. Revolving credit. You want to pay this one back very, very, very fast. Look over here. You see that? That is a credit card. Revolving credit is for credit cards. Open credit is the rarest one. (music) 
scenario, you wind up doing really well and you buy a second house, a property that you're going to uh, Airbnb, you're going to do short-term rentals. There's a company that takes care of any costs for you and you have to pay that company back like every month and you have to pay the entire amount back. Basically, they're putting the money out for you. You have to give that money back to them. That's, that's an example of open credit. Now you're going to read that article.